right, another video time, and this time I am unboxing the this Calling All Engines VHS tape with the uh, limited edition Silver Percy. The plastic is really dirty. See all the information here. In fact, I don't really want to have this on my bed, but I'm not entirely sure if I have any other choice of where to film it. All right. It's really tall. I'm just gonna pull up one of my other VHS tapes. The closest one I can actually grab is really far away. All right, compared to size, it's pretty clear of what it's supposed to look like, but yeah, it also has the thing on the top, so it's a lot taller than the already tall enough VHS tapes. And uh, yeah. So, I'm just gonna open it probably, I think it would be best to open it from here, maybe. All right. And there's just a small, small little hole, but as I was always taught, I'm really great at getting... Never mind. This is gonna be really annoying to do with one hand, however, I don't really care. This has been just sitting on my shelf for a while. This is probably gonna be like August when this actually comes out in this video because I'm a lot like very much so behind on unboxings which I have had like all of them filmed in like before March and it's currently you know May oh my god okay you know what nah. and now uh, this part should be pretty much free. yep okay I don't actually- Oh, it just comes off like this. <laughs> okay. I don't actually own Calling All Engines on VHS except for this here. And I do also own Thomas and the Magic Railroad, which let me grab really quickly. It's actually behind my bed. It is also pretty large, especially compared to Younger Brother over here. Kind of like Mario, you know, with his short, with his tall brother, but smaller brother, I guess. I don't really have much of a analogy there. And this is really clean. Oh my gosh. Oh! It's not every day you get to unbox, like, new VHS tapes, like, of any variant. This is, a uh, from 2006. Five, not six. So it's at basically the very end of Thomas's existence on on media. This is gonna be a pain. Actually, you know what? More scissor time. Actually, opening this. Ignore how I'm cutting it and how awkward it looks. It's it, it's it's fine. I see your thing lining up, Charles. I'm actually on a Discord call with recording this. I have a feeling he's harassing me. Alright. So, here's the actual VHS out of the plastic, and I love this VHS tape. I'm not- I, I don't know if I want to open this, I'm not gonna lie. Because this seems relatively rare, you know? Right now. First look at it. Fresh VHS tape. I didn't expect this. I'm not gonna lie. Um, join the celebration. I sure will. I'll, 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 I'll be sure to remember that. Oh! This is pretty nice. But here it is. Calling all engines. I did not mean to do that. Why? Okay, I didn't expect for that to be a massive 60 there. Okay, I'm just going to put this back in the stupid thing. Right there. Honestly, happy to now technically, officially own this, even though I owned it before, obviously. Yep. Read that. We just got to send this here. This isn't my address. This is... Ooh. What ages are the children in your home? 
Well, I don't know why that really matters, but I'm not gonna read that. Uh, I guess I can review this. Already, I know that I'm going to cry if I or if I open this. So I'm gonna open it anyway. Golden Thomas, and then limited edition Platinum Percy. I'm so happy that Hit actually cared about Thomas enough to like make a massive celebration for Thomas. And it's like, Hit gets way too much hate for stuff like this. And it's like, they clearly cared about Thomas at least. More so than, you know, literally anybody else. Well, I mean, well, not everybody else, I mean Mattel, specifically. Which, like, go figure, it's Mattel. <laughs> Don't ask Mattel about their fear. About the- okay, I'm just gonna put this phone back down. Do not ask Mattel about their feelings about the- <laughs> Alright, so, I think- The fact that this is also designed is actually pretty nice. All of this is designed. Even this little flap here, which I mean, it's relatively cheap to do this. And uh, yeah, sorry for that intense close up there. I was looking back at my computer because somebody sent something. I'm just gonna put this back in. Last time the phone was put down, I promise. Okay, so this, this entire thing, I... <laughs> Oh, it took me a lot to hold back cursing that. Alright, if everything falls out again, I'm gonna cry, but here is the entire thing. I'll move my thumb, but if this thing falls out, I'm gonna cry. Don't you dare. You can- you can hear the- those words, those awful, awful words coming onto me. Now, I actually have the DVD as well. I'm not gonna show it off at the minute, mostly because it's under my desk, which I'm not at, clearly. Um, so, yeah. Calling all engines. Plus the, the wooden railway train. Uh, I would rate the movie about seven out of 10 on a Thomas scale. Great Discovery is still 10, woo baby, except it's not even on VHS. I do like the cover though, so yeah, that's a plus. And that part, that badge, pretty nice. Anyway. Here, I'm just gonna actually take this out so I can get like a thumbnail. All right, there, I got a photo. Now for the, th now to end the video. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Chef Boyardee, 